Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Train of Thoughts. Uh, my name is Trey, and this is where I share my thoughts on the Winnipeg Jets, and I have some beautiful sunlight uh, cascading that side of my eye face there. Um, so the Jets went into Dallas last night to complete their road trip, and they fell 5-3. to three. Uh, kind of... It's kind of a weird game. Uh, I know that um, Paul Maurice kind of had some concerns about, hey, you know, we're ready to be done. Um, we're, you know, like, I don't know where our energy level is going to be, and we're all excited to head back to Winnipeg. And um, so there's just different phases of the game where it was getting to be a, a track meet, and I know that on the TSM broadcast, they're kind of saying, I don't know if the, if the, if this is what uh, the Jets want when they're coming off of um, three tough games, especially playing Nashville. Um, uh, the last game, that, that's a pretty emotional win since that's their biggest rival. Um, but I don't know. I when I break down the, the game, you, you, you kind of look at it and go, why did that they lose? And there's, I don't know, I, I think a combination of a lot of things. I think it might be a little, a little bit of fatigue. Um, there's a little bit of sloppiness. Um, you got to give Dallas some, some credit. Um, I don't really like the Stars that much since they're a division rival. Um, I can't stand their goal song that Dallas stars um but uh yeah the it, it just wasn't the jets night last night is kind of what i came up with so um jets were outshot 36 to 26 hellebuck stopped 32 out of 36 i it wasn't his best game last night um so maybe he was feeling it a little bit too and with how amazing he's been for, for most of the season, I mean, um, we, we can't expect him to, to be that way every game, but I know there's probably a few that he would like back. Um, so I just kind of want to recap the, the, the goal scoring because some of the goals were a little unique. Um, so Dallas scored first in the second period off of uh, a, a rebound, um, you know, like Hellebuck, you know, sprawled out one way to make a save, a nice rebound, went right out to a guy who had a wide open net, boom, one nothing Dallas. Um, second goal came two minutes later where um, Guy fired a shot from, from the, the, the point, um, kind, of, kind of a, a low beamer. And a, a guy deflected it, and it went over Hellbuck's glove, and it kind of looked like he wanted that one back because he had his glove up, and it was just like, where is it? And it, it, it just went over him. So that was one where it was kind of like, you know, I'm not a goalie. I don't want to have pucks coming at me 100 miles an hour, but that may be one that he would want to have back. Um, third goal, um, a little bit of a fluke because uh, – um, it like went over Hellebuck's shoulder and kind of kind of trickled down. Hellebuck kind of kind of grabbed it or started grabbing it, and then it just trickled over the the goal line. Um, at that point, I was going, I don't really want to watch this. They gave up three goals in six minutes, and just seemed like they were self destructing a little bit. It was just kind of like I don't know if I want to watch this. I mean, I want to be faithful to this team, I'm doing these videos, but, eh. um, and then Kyle Connor scored late in the second period, and it was like, okay, okay, if we can keep this, you know, if they, we can keep them scoring, we, we can get back into this game, um, so went into the third period, down three to one, um, about, nine or eight and a half minutes or so into the eight and a half or nine minutes in, into the second uh, or the third period um tucker poolman 
does what he or did what he does best, which is he fired one from the point and hit Patrick Laine right in the the Jets logo on his chest into the net. So three to two, and it's like, man, we we got a game now. Um, and then about I think it's about six and a half seven minutes later, um, Lucas Pisa. Right place, right time, fires one home for his first goal as a Jet, and it's 3-3. Three to three. And I'm fired up. I started getting a little confident, making some comments to my wife about, you know, just believing in this team because they've done that so many times this year where they've fallen behind and, and come back and tied it. And usually when they've tied it, it's been like, hey, you know, it's – almost game over for the other team because the Jets usually go into lockdown defensive mode. They've played so well in tight games and their, their record in one goal games. And then a few minutes later, uh, on one end of the ice, Jamie Benn, Dex, Mark Shifley. Um, you know, it's one, one of those subjective things where you don't like it when someone does it to, to, to your player. Decks him, and then on the other end of the ice, he forces a turnover, skates in, nice move on on Hellebuck, and scores. And that really hurts. Um, you know, especially the Jets had worked so hard to come back and um, tie that that game, and now they're, they're, they they got to ramp it up again. So, um, after, after that, Jets could, couldn't really, really get much momentum. They got killed in the face-off circle last night. I think it was like 66% to 34%. And um, they, they were losing some key draws, especially when they were trying to get Hellebuck out. And uh, in, in the final minute, the Stars ended up getting an empty net goal uh, to make the final score 5-3. to three. So one silver lining out of that is that the Jets uh, kept their really good record in one-goal games. ha 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 ha. So, um, that's basically what I wanted to talk about. Um, I, I just kind of wanted to recap the, the goal scoring because I think that that, you know, you can say, well, well duh, but I think that that kind of told the story of the game, how those, those, those goals were scored. And, um, yeah, so I don't like when the, there's, three teams that I don't like the, the Jets losing to and that's the Predators, the Wild and, and the Stars um, yeah I mean I think any, any game they lose is a bummer in any Central Division game if they were to lose to um, Chicago or St. Louis or Colorado those hurt but just those three teams that I mentioned those, those are the three that I just really want the Jets to win, especially when the Jets are in Dallas. I, I mentioned my disdain for that song um, that the Stars have for, for their goal song. Um, but yeah, so that's basically what, what I have. Uh, what are your thoughts? What did you think about the game? What did you think about the road trip? Um, how do you... I, how do you think the Jets are going to look going home after a tough road trip? Because that's kind of a tough adjustment. So, light up that comment section. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Uh, if you really like this video, please hit subscribe. Tell all your, your, your friends. I, I love to um, have them come check this out and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.